Hey, this is a quick video where I'm going to show you how to take a transparent, transparent resin print like this and turn it into something that's much clearer and any color that you want it to be. Let's see how to do this. You don't even need to do a lot of sanding or any at all, depending on how lazy you are. So let's, let's make this look real cool. Okay, so I've got basically everything that I need laid out right here, plus an airbrush. And let me walk you through it. So this is just a 2K clear. Um, I'll put a link in the description about the particular clear that I use, but they're two-part urethanes. I've got my resin gem, which as you can see is pretty darn opaque. I sanded it a little bit with 320 grit, but um, it's, you know, you can still see there's got the stair stepping from the resin layers. And then I've got a couple of resin dyes. So this is Alumalite's Translucent Green, which is what I'm going to use for this, but you can buy some cheaper ones as well. This was like, came with a kit of 20 different colors. These aren't as concentrated, um, so I really like the Alumalite. All I'm going to do is measure out my paint. This paint is a four to one ratio, so for every four parts of paint that I put in, I need to put in one part of the activator. I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out. Oh, that's pretty good. Doesn't have to be super precise. Cool. Now I'm gonna take probably just a drop or two of this dye. That's, whoa, that's, that's a lot. And you can see a little goes a very long way, so be careful here. Um, when I spray this on, it will come out lighter but, oof, yeah, that was, we'll see how that is. All right, I've got my little airbrush here. Got some lacquer thinner in there just to make sure that the airbrush works. Now I'm gonna pour, probably have way more here than I need for this gem. I'm just gonna pour that in, and this is super simple. I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna do a coat on the top, and I'm gonna let it dry a little bit, do a coat on the bottom. So I'll start with the coat on the top, Looks like we got a little jam here. Okay, I think I've cleared out the jam. Let's try that again. You can already see it clearing up quite a bit. And if I do the reverse side, You can see we're getting there really fast. Another thing you'll kind of notice here is it's a little silly how little paint I even used to get this result. So it's pretty functional and I like it a lot. As to why I don't just use colored resin and then use a regular clear coat, it's because I print gems of all sorts of different colors and it wastes time if I was going to try to swap out the resin every single time I wanted to try a print. And because I'm going to be spraying them with a clear coat anyways, I just print them all in the clear, um, non-colored resin, and then I will um, spray them individual colors using just a little medicine cup full of paint. Gets them the color that I want, and I'm pretty happy with it. Hope you found this video useful. Um, hey, let's do it again sometime, huh?